OLT.com is a budget price tax software that'll get you filing your taxes for around 10 to 16 bucks per tax filing situation. While it's not the most robust tax software out there for the low cost of this tax software, it's going to get you everything that you need for the essentials and filing your taxes. In this video, we're going to be doing a complete walkthrough of OLT.com and what you can expect. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. Today, we're taking a look at OOTL.com. This is, it's short for online taxes, and this is a tax software that you can go on, file your taxes online very easily with your federal and your state return. No matter what your tax filing situation is, the pricing is the same across the board, so you're not going to see different pricing tiers. It's also easy to use, but there aren't any import features such as a uploading a W-2 or importing a 1099, you're not going to get that with OLT.com. You're going to have to key those in manually, which can be very time costly if you are trying to save time. This is not the tax software that you want to go with because it doesn't have those import features. There is live chat and phone support, but it is a premium version in which you'll have to upgrade for. Speaking of pricing, let's go ahead and just see exactly what that 10 to $16 price point looks like. So for the federal filing, it is $0 no matter what your tax filing situation and it's $9.95 per state filing. Now I do see this crossed out $12.95. So perhaps they increase their prices as we go through the tax season. So maybe you want to lock in your pricing now and you're going to see basically the free edition and the premium edition that I was mentioning. So if you do the upgrade for the premium edition, which is going to get you that live support from an expert, you're going to get that customer support via phone and live chat, audit support, year over year comparison. That's going to be $7.95 for the federal filing and then additional $7.95 for the state return. If you're just going with the free edition, then you're only paying that $9.95. So what's new for OOT.com in 2024? You're going to see that the tax software has been updated according to the IRS and any new tax law codes and changes implemented into the tax software. With COVID tax relief programs mostly behind us, you're going to see a more normal tax filing situation going into this tax filing season. We also didn't see any major upgrades or noticeable changes for OLT.com since the last year. Although as I was going through the dashboard, I could see that they were trying to use more icons and visuals similar to what you're going to see with premium tax software like TurboTax and H&R Block. They tried. <laughs> And you'll see in a minute exactly what I mean as we go through the dashboard. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and hop into the software and see what it looks like. All right, so this is what the dashboard looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's very bare bones, basic stuff. What I would say is a big drawback of this particular software is that it's a little all over the place. There's a lot of different text and things. I wish that they would have just cleaned up the user experience on the inside. You're going to see a lot of these links on the right hand side of the IRS forms and instructions. And then the basic menu navigation, which is pretty similar across the board of the tax software that I've already reviewed this past year. You're going to see the federal return and broken down into those different subsections along with your state. As as I was going through the tax software the first go around, there wasn't a way to skip forward to deductions or credits. We really have to start with the very beginning, which is your income. And of course, that's all how all tax filing situations when you're prepping that, that return is you're going to start with your income section. They have the estimated refund or the estimate amount owed updated as you enter in new uh, forms into your tax returns. So if we were to revisit this from the beginning, and kind of take a look at our personal information. This is what I was talking about in terms of those little icons and those squares where they're trying to maybe mimic a similar experience to one of the premium brands like an H&R Block by using some of these tiles to help visually just keep things interesting and keep things guided. This was good, but I still felt like there was a ton of text that really was like all over the place that made it a 
little bit difficult for me to follow. So I can save and continue and do the W2, which I've already input. Here, you can add a new W2. And again, as I was mentioning earlier, there is no way for you to import a W2. So you're going to have to manually key in all the information here. They have the entire form and I've done other tax software such as H&R Block where you're able to break down that W-2 section by section or even upload here. The entire form is on one screen, so you're gonna have to scroll down to the bottom. Once you input everything, then you hit save and continue. I'm going to go ahead and exit because I already have a W-2 input into the system. When you are going through and adding any of your income forms such as a W-2 uh, 1099 INT forms, you're going to see a menu of options here, which is pretty nice for those who have already filed their taxes in the past. They kind of know what to expect. They have the same forms year in, year out. Then you can go ahead and click the show more button, and then you're going to see a list of all of the forms listed out here. So if you know what to look for and you have the 1099 here, then you can click start and start implementing that form. One thing that they could do without is this screen mainly because it just seems like another thing to check because I said that I wanted to put in a 1099 INT <laughs> and it automatically fills in the done with 1099 INT, which is not correct. So we need to add new. I feel like they could just skip that screen entirely and go straight to the form. And then here's where you would fill out that taxable interest form, add in all of the things that you might see on that particular form, scroll to the bottom and hit save and continue. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out that out of that so I can show you more of what's going on here. So if you had a 1099 div, this is where you could show more. You can see exactly what other forms belong in this particular category. And then of course hit the start button. So I do appreciate that there's a menu of options that you can choose and select from within each of the different major subsections of your tax return. Then you move into any adjustments to income. So here I selected a student loan interest form, the 1098E. And then here again, I don't know why it wants to autofill with done with student loan interest. If you truly have the form, then you would want to just go directly to that form and then input whatever amount of interest that you may have paid for last year. It's going to update here, save and continue. And then that's added as an adjustment to your income. And then again, they're trying to use these icons. I kind of laugh because I'm like, eh, I feel like this could really have a major overhaul in the user experience if they were to invest in that. I think that would be a wise decision. Otherwise, this essentially gets everything that you want. And what I also liked, and let me go back to the income section. What I also liked about the W-2 and doing that whole process, even though I had to manually key things in, it actually automatically updated the amount of Social Security and Medicare tax withheld. So let's say this was actually, I made a mistake and it's actually 109,000. Then it's automatically going to adjust the Social Security and Medicare taxes. I thought that was really cool. I had not seen that in any other tax software platform. So there is a little bit of automation there because those are percentages that you just calculate across the board. So hit save and continue. Let me go back. So it did catch an error as I was adjusting things here. So let's close and correct errors and change it for the state down at the bottom. All right, now that that's been adjusted, you can actually see the refund, uh, estimated refund amount did increase as I was making adjustments to the W-2. So again, I thought that was a really nice feature considering outdated this system looks like, it actually does have everything that you need in order to file your taxes. Then you can move on to the deduction section of your return. If any of these apply to you, just click show more and then there's the menu list of options. So it's pretty straightforward with every single section that you go into. It's going to kind of give you a prompted question and answer guidance, which is nice. And then just going through the motions of it all. I found this to be very straightforward. Um, the only thing too is just is a little clunky. I also tried to search the form for various things. So if I needed to go back and do some sort of like dividend form, you can click and then it's actually going to move you back to that particular summary page. I'm not sure why it goes to the summary page. Little nuances that I think they could clean up to make this even more simple, especially those who are filing their taxes for the first time. I don't know if this is necessarily the right fit for first time filers, but those who have been doing 
playing it a long time and just want to save a little bit of money, then this might be your go-to. Once you get through each of the sections, you're going to see this little summary screen at the very end of your federal return, summarizing exactly everything that you input. I did see that the system was checking for errors as I was going throughout and adding things in, so that was really nice. And then once you're done with that tax summary for your federal return, then you can move on to the state return. So a couple of pros of OLT.com that you'll want to take note of is that it's cost effective, it's cheap. You have a simple menu navigation for the most part, even though I found that it was a little cluttered and it's got well-designed calculators. You saw with the W-2 that it automatically figured out exactly how much tax was withheld from Social Security and Medicare but there were a few drawbacks. The screens were still overly cluttered. I found it to be a little bit clunky to look at, which could be overwhelming, especially for first time tax filers, and you still can't import W-2s or 1099s into the system. So is it worth it to use to file your taxes? I would say you've had experience filing your taxes online, you want a low cost option, then perhaps this is something that you look at, but there are also really great bargain tax software that I find has a better user experience such as Free Tax USA or even Tax Slayer. So those could be alternatives that you look at if you're not wanting to pay a premium price like TurboTax or H&R Block. So that's a look inside of OLT.com. Don't forget we have complete reviews and walkthroughs of all the latest and greatest tax software available to you at thecollegeinvestor.com. Before you make your choice to file your taxes online, be sure you check out those reviews. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one.